Chart 2020 Quick Start Guide. This guide will help you get up and running in 15 minutes. Learn how to download and install the software, calibrate your monitor, and navigate your way around the menus. You will then learn how to navigate through the various letter charts. This video is divided into chapters, which you can see by hovering over the YouTube control bar. These chapters allow you to skip to the section that you are most interested in learning about. Download the software from www.chart2020.com by pressing the download button on the right hand side on the website. Once you have downloaded the software, you need to run the installation file you have just downloaded. Be prompted by Windows to allow installation by a flashing icon on the taskbar. Click on this icon and continue the installation process. Enter your registration information. This information you capture here will be displayed on all the reports. To calibrate the system and ensure the correct letter height, press F10 or select the gear icon on the left-hand side menu. Measure the length of the red line in either millimeters or inches. Measure and record the testing distance from the screen to the patient's eyes. Press the Save button on the top right-hand side and you are ready to start refracting. Next, select Startup Options in the middle panel and choose your layout preference when displaying a letter chart. Most users select either the horizontal mode, which shows only one line, or the full chart. You can also select a single letter or a vertical row of letters or a triple line of the same size letter. Next, select your notation preference, feet, meters, or decimal that will be displayed on all your charts. You can also select the starting size optotype in the selection box next to the choice of optotype. Press the Save button on the top right-hand side and you are ready to start refracting. The four Chart 2020 docs. Chart 2020 is an advanced icon-driven application that allows significant depth in testing strategies with a paradigm that is both simple and flexible. The heart of the control system is four docks that are dynamically exposed and hidden on each screen edge, namely Sequence, Top, Library, Right, Context Controls, Bottom, System, Left. The same icons displayed in the menus are used on the multi-button remote controller. So once your infrared remote controller arrives, you will instinctively recognize the buttons. The sequence dock is a fully editable dock in which a series of ordered tests commonly performed in a standard examination process are organized on demand and at any time by the user by simply dragging and dropping tests from the library onto any indicated position on the current sequence. For example, sequence 1 may be a collection of the charts needed for a comprehensive eye exam, whereas sequence 2 may be used for surgical follow-up or a contact lens exam. Using sequences enables one-touch progression to the next test without needing to search for a specific chart. To advance to the next chart in the collection, press the right key on the remote, right-click the mouse, right arrow key on the keyboard, or swipe right on the iPad application. The left button or left swipe will reverse through the progression. You can still randomize the letters or change VA size without losing your current position in the sequence. The sequences dock is positioned at the top of your screen for easy visibility and access. The yellow pointer shows your current position. Setting up the sequences is easy with drag and drop simplicity. Let's add the shower head to sequence 2. First, select sequence 2. Then, drag a chart from the test library on the right-hand side menu and drop it into the sequence in the position you require it. Now let's change the order and move the shower head so that it is ordered after the duochrome circles by dragging and dropping within the sequence. We no longer need the worth 4 dot chart anymore, so let's drag and drop it out of the sequence. 
The Pro version also adds a multi-user feature so that each user in the Chart 2020 system can control their own individualized sequences, a great feature for multi-doctor practices. All sequences are auto-synced to the iPad application. For example, if you move to another exam room with a different sequences set up, the iPad will remain in sync with the current exam room. You can also add charts directly to your favorites. Drag from the library on the right and drop into the favorites menu on the left hand side. These favorites can be cycled directly from one button on the remote control. They will also appear in the iPad application for one touch easy access. Sequencing will save you time and frustration. Your patients will appreciate that you value their time by testing them efficiently. Until your remote control arrives, you can navigate the system with a keyboard or a mouse or by using the iPad controller. Press the spacebar to move the red line to the next size letter on your chart. Masking with the keyboard. Press the H key to show one horizontal line of letters, then press the up or down arrow to show bigger or smaller letters. Press the 3 key to show three lines of letters that are the same size. You can also press the up and down to change letter size. To show a single letter, press the L key. If you press it a second time, it will show the letter with crowding bars, and on a third press, it will go back to showing the full chart. The V key shows a vertical line of letters. Press the V key a second time to show the full chart. Pressing the R or dot key randomizes the letters. Masking with the mouse. The bottom dock is context sensitive and when a letter chart is displayed you can mask by selecting any of the masking options. You can also randomize or change the letter sizes by pressing the larger or smaller buttons. Displaying other optotypes with a keyboard. Press the T key to display the HOTV. Press the K key to toggle between pediatric symbols, the E chart, and the C chart. Press the 1 key to access numbers. Press the J key to display a combined letter and a stigmatic chart. These can also be accessed with the mouse on the right-hand side menu. Move the mouse over to the right-hand side dock and select the third icon and then select which optotype you wish to display. All the optotypes can be masked and randomized. You can even use Chart Editor to drag and drop the exact letter sequence that you know by heart from the slide projector and mimic the order exactly. But it is not exactly the same. Chart 2020 characters are razor sharp and never have dust degraded optics from the projector system. Open the Chart Editor by moving the mouse to the left hand edge of the screen and select the gear icon. Now select the second icon in this list. You can simply drag and drop the letters from the available letter selection onto the actual chart and the changes you make will appear each time those letters are displayed. Once you have finished making your changes, you can close the letter palette.